Disclaimer, everything that is discussed, posted is strictly for educational and historical purposes only. It does not promote nor condone illegal activities. The story of Grand Champion Gritler Rom, Seedenson's Gritler vs. Mabaker's Psychocedric, Ref, Red Devil Kennels, weight, 20 to 0.5 kg, both dogs were weighed. Gritler and Psycho on weight, Ref orders handlers to release and so did the dogs meet, in the center and it is on. At 10 minutes both dogs are working hard, and changing holds. 5 minutes later Psycho gets hold of, Gritler's leg and breaks it, Gritler screams and manage to get Psycho of his leg by going on defense. Psycho starts to tire and Gritler seems more in control. At 24 minutes a turn was called on Psycho. Three minutes later Mabaker handles, which Psycho completes a good scratch. Gritler is now in complete control. In the 33rd minute, Seedenson handles. Gritler who also completed a breathtaking scratch and starts working Psycho's throat hard. Psycho has no answer for Gritler's ability. At the 41st minute, Psycho still has no answer for Gritler and cannot defend against him. At 43 Mabaker concedes, making Gritler a one-time winner. Both Gritler and Psycho completes their courtesy scratches, 1xW Gritler conditioned by Seedenson, Psycho conditioned by N.A. Baker. Seedenson's 1xW Gritler vs. Combined Kennels Caleb, Ref, Licorice Kid, Wait, 24kg, Dogs were weighed, Ref calls for dogs to be released and so they did. Gritler takes control immediately. Caleb not getting any holds. At 10 minutes Caleb is driving hard but still not able to break through Gritler's defense. Gritler at 25 minutes works a down Caleb very hard. A turn was called on Gritler and Ref acknowledges. Seedenson handles his dog who gives a great scratch meeting Caleb hard in his own corner. Three minutes later Caleb was handled who also completes his turn to scratch. Gritler starts to work Caleb's throat hard. At 32 minutes combined kennels concedes the match, making Gritler a to time winner. Caleb did not complete his courtesy scratch. 2xW Gritler conditioned by Seedenson kennels. Caleb conditioned by combined kennels. Seedenson's 2xW Gridler vs. K Clubs 2xW Mamba, Ref, Kodo, weight, 23.3 kg, dogs were weighed. Gridler being 200 grams overweight and forfeit, was paid by Seedenson. Ref called handlers to release their dogs and so they did. Mamba gets a very good chest hold. Gridler is struggling for the next two minutes to get Mamba of his chest. At 5 minutes Gridler succeeds and hits a bad bleeder on Mamba's nose. Mamba gets through Gritler's defense and back into the chest. Gritler takes him off and a few minutes pass where Mamba's bleeder is starting to weaken him, his face is now badly swollen and full of blood. Gritler is now working a down Mamba very hard at 30 minutes. Gritler starts to work Mamba's throat and Mamba struggles to breathe, his tongue turns blue. By now K Club's party complains that he should pick up his dog and so he did. At 37 minutes he concedes by making to XW Gritler a champion. Mamba completes his courtesy scratch. He later died. Newly crowned champion Gritler conditioned by Seedenson's kennel. 2xW Mamba conditioned by K Club's kennel. Seedenson's champion Gridler vs. Buffalo Bills 1xW Chili Baba. Ref. Kodo. Weight. 23.8 kg. Dogs were weighed. Gridler was under at 23.6 kg. Ref calls for handlers to release their dogs and so they did. The dogs meet in the center. The match was very equal for both dogs for 20 minutes. The match could still go any way for either dogs. Gritler shows better ability than Chili by putting Chili time and again on his back. At 25 minutes Chili defends Gritler's shoulder and throat attacks. 10 minutes later Gritler starts to run hot and starts to exchange throat holds for shoulder holds in order to breathe. At the 39th minute Seedenson calls a turn on Gritler and Ref acknowledges the turn. Six minutes later Chili's front legs is taken out completely and struggles to walk stumbling forward. At 1 hour Chili doesn't manage to get up from the floor and Gritler starts to work a down Chili hard in the throat and shoulders. At the 65th minute Seedenson handles Gritler who makes a hard scratch into Chili. Seven minutes later Buffalo Bill handles Chili who completes a very game scratch. At 1 hour 17 minutes Buffalo Bill conceded and makes champ Gritler a forex winner. Chili died later. For XW Champion Gritler conditioned by Seedenson Kennels, 1XW Chili conditioned by Buffalo Bills Kennels. Seedenson Gritler weight was put out and picked up by Red Devil with Champion Ori, who cancelled the match on the day for he did not agree with Seedenson's guest list. The second attempt was against Mabaker's 2XW Tuffy, 
where they apparently had a sick dog who can't be matched. That was only an excuse not to match into Champion Gritler. They later tried to spot pick Champ Red and they lost. A third attempt with Kojak's nigger was a successful match and weight was set at 23. 2 kilograms for they could not make 24 kg Seedinson agreed to meet their demands for now he was desperate. Ref, United Kennels, weight, to 3 dot kg, dogs were weighed. Gridler 23, 2 kilograms and nigger at 23, 5 kilograms, both dogs over. So no forfeit is taken, it can be either party's match. The match was to start at to 1 HO and so it did. Ref calls for handlers to release their dogs. The two meet in the middle. Gritler lost a K9 in the process. Suddenly Nigger puts a bleeder on Gritler's cheek and seems to have torn a hole right through. His cheek. Nigger is damaging Gritler's head area causing huge damages and exhibits a tremendous bite. At 7 minutes Gritler has gaping wounds on his head and neck with a bleeder that seems to have stopped on his cheek. For minutes later Kojak calls a turn on Nigger. Ref acknowledges. Nigger still has better ability. Gritler struggles to make his mark. At the 18th minute Gritler starts to take control by breaking through Nigger's defense and works the shoulders and throat. Three minutes later Kojak handles Nigger who completes a good scratch. Gritler is starting to dominate while the rival is showing signs of fatigue. At 23 minutes Nigger's back legs are starting to collapse. Gritler seems to have taken out Nigger's front legs with a few good shakes and is working the throat and shoulders hard. Gritler is now in total control. At 25 minutes Seedinson gets a handle on Gritler, which completes a hard scratch, nearly taking Nigger and his handler out of the box. Two minutes later another handle took place which Nigger completes. Gritler is now putting Nigger on his back and working the shoulders. When Seedinson handles for another time he came flying out of the corner. At 32 minutes Kojak sees that Nigger has no answer for Gritler's style and ability. He cannot get up while Gritler is working him. Kojak concedes Nigger at 32 minutes and so making Gritler a grand champion five-time winner. Nigger completes his courtesy scratch with some motivation. Gritler is a 60.5% inbred from grand champion yellow breeding with 25% carver blood and 12.5% inbred champ saloon breeding. He is a very well-conformed dog and his owner's house dog. He won easily over Mamba. A two-time winner the best prospect at that stage, an above-average dog. Even after four wins to his credit, many people still said he had it too easy and that his gameness was never really tested. Only after Chile you could see what a great dog he is. He died after the match only to be revived by his crew. And the fifth he was tested further, for Nigger caused a lot more damage in one match than all the other combined. In my opinion it takes a great dog to make a comeback from such a beating and still win under 40 minutes. On his last scratch he nearly scratched Nigger and company out of the box. He is currently one of the all-time greats in SA, in all classes, especially yellow class. He is retired and made us proud becoming a grand champion after his sire. Grand champion Sir Thomas seven-time winner poor and also producing a grand champion and ex-grand champion himself. Grand champion Talaus six-time winner and ex-grand champion countdown seven-time winner one loser. Now if that's not the making of a true game dog then what is? Gritler's bloodline was imported from the USA in 1987 by Brainy Smurf. The dog Tance David R.O.M. was later sold to K. Boda for he did not like the dog as a pup. K. Boda later made a brother-sister mating which did not work well, but, when crossed with Carver, saloon dogs, now that seems to hit the spot. They performed so well that one cannot actually believe that these match dogs could come from such mediocre parents and also produce champions in return. Maybe this highly inbred strain just wanted an outcross to show its hybrid vigor. Good luck to this well-established bloodline. May Gritler and his blood's legacy live on forever. Out of 20 breedings that had pups on the ground, GRCH Gritler produced 25 wins of which two became grand champions. One six-time winner and one seven-time winner, where on his eighth he lost to a champion. He also produced three to time winners of which one was dead game and one was a bust and five one X winners. Then he produced 7 game losses and 7 quitters and lastly 1 draw. So in all GRCH Gritler Rom produced, to GRCH 16XW and 17XW, 1X loser, 3 to 2 xws 1 dead game, 5 to 1 XWs, 1 bust on championship match, 7 game losses, 7 quitters, 1 draw. Also GRCH Gritler Rom is the only grand champion Rom male in SA that was a CH Rom in, 
Both show and match and also the only GRCH ROM on the ROM list since 1979 till now it has never been done before. Well there you have it folks, the story of Stevenson's grand champion 5-time winner Gritler ROM.